Another season, another anti haul. What stuff won't I be buying this autumn because they're short lived trends, wrong for me personally, or because I already have a good option at home? Hope to inspire you to be kind to your wallet and to the planet. Give me a like if you find this video helpful, it means a lot to me if you do, and don't forget to subscribe to make sure to catch my next video. Puffer jackets is one of those trends that just keeps on going. For the last few autumn winter seasons, we've all been wearing nothing but. And it makes sense because puffer jackets are both so modern and tough, but also so hella practical and comfy. So naturally, when there's a trend going strong year after year, the industry asks itself, how can we capitalize on this even more? Enter the puffer skirt. Yep, I'm serious. It's basically as if you cut off the arm of a puffer jacket and stitch up the holes and voila, you get yourself an outerwear skirt. Don't get me wrong, I think this trend is hot as hell, pun intended, but still I will not invest. Why? Because compared to its jacket friend, I don't think the puffer skirt will make it into timeless piece territory. And you know me, I try to go for trends only if I think they can survive past the first few seasons. This is a trend that pops up again and again and compared to other in-your-face trends, metallics come back very often. It was only like 3-4 years ago we had the super silver shoe and bag trend, wasn't it? And every time it comes back, I'm a little less intrigued. And every time I get tired of it quicker. So this time, I'm opting out. Another piece of outerwear that will never go out of style, the blazer. After recent season's crazily oversized boyfriend version, this year the new trend is to go for cropped. Basically the same oversized silhouette just cropped at the midriff. It's another gorgeous silhouette if you ask me, but I think it will be short-lived simply because it isn't very practical. What the hell are you supposed to wear with this jacket? It's autumn, it will be too cold to wear without nothing underneath. A shirt dress might look good if it has like the perfect width, but yeah, a crop blazer isn't exactly an effortless, easy style piece. So I'm keeping my wallet shut. Besides videos on trends that I'm keeping away from, do you want me to make also videos about trends I think are long-lived and worth investing in? Let me know in the comments if so. Every autumn we always want to get into that moody, gothic, dark and cozy color schemes. Purple lipstick, black lace, navy blue velvets and burgundy bags. We all turn into vampiresque quasi-intellectuals who want to read Sylvia Plath and write with reservoir pens the moment the first leaf turns red. Am I right? This year I'm staying away from the goth color scheme because I realize it's wrong for me. I tend to feel much fresher in rusty, orangey, copperish types of colors, while purplish and burgundy reds drain me. And in autumn we're all drained enough as it is, are we not? So I'm going for more brownish, rusty outfits this autumn, also very season appropriate, and I'll leave the colder tones for the Morticias, Elvira's and Lestats out there. Dresses with a dropped waistline have been popping up this year and the silhouette indeed feels very fresh and edge. I find this silhouette very interesting, but personally it's wrong for me. I have disproportionately wide hips to my waist, so whenever I wear low cut trousers or low waist tops, basically when the cut is straight over my hips, I feel very bulky and square, which I don't personally like. When you drop the waist, you also appear to have shorter legs and longer torso, which is good for anyone wishing to elongate their torso. But although I have long legs for my body, that's a part of my disproportion I do like. So for those two reasons, I'm skipping the drop waist. If you don't know what you like about your body type or even what your body type actually is, you should take a look at my body type series. I got a lot of tips on how to feel happy and super flattered by the clothes that you wear. Links in the description. No, just no. I'm sorry, but this particular trend just couldn't be more wrong for me. It's not just very bold, very loud patterns, which in some cases I can totally vibe with, but it's the dusty, old school, murky, old house decor types of patterns, and in combination with each other. Tapestry, wallpaper medallions, patchwork, quilty things that I personally just feel like should be left in the moth infested wooden chest in the attic. Or, you know, worn by someone who's into folksy, patterny, 60s, 70s moods. I applaud you if you have the guts. The exaggerated baby doll dresses aren't going anywhere and they're super gorgeous if you ask me, but they are an investment, they tend to be quite expensive and that kind of flirty girly style is not usually what I go for. 
So instead of investing in expensive dresses, let me show you how you can easily create a similar silhouette with pieces you already own. I got this very puffy sleeve blouse that I love to wear underneath dresses. This way of mixing and matching pieces you have to emulate a silhouette that is trending is the perfect way of utilizing a versatile wardrobe instead of buying pieces you can only really style in one way, like a baby doll dress. This silhouette is cinched in the waist, so not exactly baby doll, but it's much more to my personal taste. And I bought the blouse on sale and the dress is pre-owned, so much more inexpensive than a brand new on-trend baby doll dress would have been. The chain accessory is everywhere, in ears, around necks, on bags, on belts, around ankles and wrists. Before you go shopping for boots with chain details or a brand new bag, why not easily DIY this trend? I hate DIYing, I'm not a crafty type of person, but it is so mind-blowingly easy that I feel it would be silly not to. Just using chains that you already have, like bracelets or necklaces, and just mixing things up. Fasten on jackets, belts, bags, outsider shoes or sunglasses accessories. Be inventive and show me on Insta what you come up with. Okay, finally a curveball. We buy a lot of things off Amazon, don't we? Especially during quarantine when going to a physical shop has been off the menu. And there are so many problems with Amazon, with working conditions, tax evasion, sustainability, and monopolizing the market so many indie brands and local shops get put out of business. The book industry is a great example of how Amazon can completely gut a market. So let's do our best, I know it's hard, but let's try to support other brands instead of instantly going to Amazon whenever we need something. Especially for books, please get your books from other sellers. I'll put a link in the description to a great article by The Guardian with a list of other places you can find the items you'd normally buy from Amazon. I've started buying books from ebooks.com instead of Kindle books now and I feel so good about myself. Okay, your turn. What won't you be buying this autumn? Are you tempted by any of the trends I mentioned or are you staying clear of shopping? Whatever you do end up buying, I hope it's a thought through purchase that you're only buying things that you truly love or truly need and don't see shopping as something we simply do whenever we need a little mood boost. There are better ways to boost moods, making out for example, or if you don't have anyone to make out with, go watch normal people again, it's basically the same thing. I swear I kind of feared getting pregnant just by watching that show. Anyway, that's it for this anti-haul. Do you want more of these kind of videos? Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I make lifestyle videos and commentary essay type of videos. Do let me know what you want me to talk about in upcoming vids. Is something going on in today's society or in entertainment media you think we should talk more about? Dying to hear your thoughts. Otherwise, I'll see you on Instagram, Twitter or in next week's video already. Love you guys. Thanks for checking in. Puss puss and hey doll. You ripped then once and everyone was like, Ooh, Jenny's here. Ooh. <laughs> oh no, did you feel and, like and it, 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 you it was, weren't the, the shiny toy they anymore? They were like doing like... Uh, the queen uh, uh, gifs, like the queen is here, ooh, and I'm like, who the fuck am I? <laughs> well, you can be the prince, babe. You're not the queen. <laughs> <laughs>